SCP-6151 Grease Dogs Containment Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-6151 has been transferred to the staff break room of the Miami Walmart Supercenter. While civilian interaction with SCP-6151 is banned, members of Stationary Task Force Kappa-51, always low prices, are encouraged to patronize the object if not considered a risk to their mental well-being. All communications regarding SCP-6151 to Person of Interest 792, Martin Grease, are to be handled by Dr. Kenzing, and occur on at least a bi-monthly basis to ensure proper containment. Description SCP-6151 is a hot dog vending machine of a previously unknown brand, which spontaneously manifested in the Miami Walmart Supercenter following an extended period of detente between the SCP Foundation and Greaseburger Incorporated. All buttons on SCP-6151 display the word Grease, as well as a variable cost between 250 and 275. Although testing has shown no difference in anomalous effect, nor taste between each option. When the appropriate amount of currency is inserted into SCP-6151 and a button is pressed, an outwardly non-anomalous hot dog will be dispensed, despite this being mechanically impossible. Internal imaging shows the inside of SCP-6165 is composed of haphazardly placed mechanical parts, a car battery, flesh, and Greaseburger legally distinct void byproducts. Upon consumption, the consumer will fall unconscious for approximately 15 seconds, with no other adverse physical effects following reawakening. The subject, henceforth referred to as SCP-6151-1, will experience extreme time dilation during this, recording the period to last anywhere between several weeks and millennia, with the median experience time of 14 years. During this, SCP-6151 instances report extended conversations with the figure claiming to be Martin Grease, largely focusing on Grease Burger Incorporated and lessons in business management. Addendum Communications between Foundation and Person of Interest 792 Interviewer Dr. Kenzing Interviewee Person of Interest 792 Martin Grease Context Following manifestation and preliminary testing of SCP-6151, contact was opened with Greaseburger Incorporated via SCP-5921 to deduce the origin and intent of the item. Begin Log Dr. Kenzing dials his personal number into SCP-5291, his phone fails to ring, instead immediately going to voicemail, while Person of Interest 792 picks up the phone from an unknown, presumed extra-dimensional location. Person of Interest 792 Welcome to the 24-7 Greaseburger Hotline, Bring your humors to the modern consumers. How can I help? Kenzing Could I speak to, uh, Martin? Universe? What? <sighs> Never mind, forgot how much of a pain you lot were. Kenzing, right? Right. One moment. The sound of someone attempting to hum jazz music begins to play through the phone. It is discordant, and Dr. Kenzing instinctively pulls the phone away from his ear in self-defense. Approximately 35 seconds later, it abruptly stops and a user returns to the other end of the phone. Of note, it is the same voice as the start of the call. Alright, Martin here. What's up? What's up with the brand new hot dog machine? That's a new thing we cooked up recently. Profits have been through the roof since you started giving us 40% of yours. So, we decided to lend a hand with the Greaseburger Refreshment and Educational Nutrition Dispenser. How did you do that? Do what? How the hell did you manage to say Greaseburger Superscript trademark out loud? I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. I... <sighs> Just the hot dog machine. We gave one of ours a hot dog and they went mad. What's up with that? I tried to teach him, really did, but he just wasn't getting the basics. Buy high, sell low, Australian school economics, the classics. We must have been there for hours. D53289 reported being in there for well over three decades. By Seamus, you and your time. Whatever, decades. It's a simple idea. You lot finally listen to me and start this little joint taking off thanks to the eternal power of my greasisms. You make more money, 
slide your dues my way, everyone wins. Maybe you'll even pick up a thing or two along the way. Anyway, I've got some big stuff on the way, so I'm gonna have to dip. Everything's coming up grease, baby. And just remember, you can't spell grease without EZ. In the interest of a deeper understanding of Greaseburger Incorporated's business model, consumption of SCP-6151's hot dogs by members of Kappa-51 specially trained in sensory deprivation and diplomatic skills. Key information is available to Level 3 staff and above. Addendum 2. Notable results of exploratory studies. There is a lot to learn from other corporations too. There's that one soda company in your dimension that has the right idea. Took a lot of inspiration from that when creating Greaseburger Diamorphine drink. Martin Grease on Coca-Cola and heroin. I'm still not over your unnecessary attachment to Euclidean geography. Do you have any idea how many more shelves you could fit in there if we just expanded into another dimension or two? Martin Grease on expanding Walmart operations. I don't get all the hype around them, to be honest. Greaseburg Incorporated bought the rights to the idea of Redacted years ago. Best investment we ever made, and way before some guys online. Martin Grease on non-fungible tokens. Attempts by the Foundation Legal Department to transcribe or conceptualize Redacted without litigation by Group of Interest 792 are ongoing. What do you mean they took it out in 1929? Martin Grease also on Coca-Cola. Now, Seamus was an American hero that knew what was up. Had no time for all this union and human rights business. Knew it was his Seamus given rights to do whatever the hell he wanted because he thought of it first. Brings a tear to my eye. A lot of folks don't get that nowadays. Martin Grease on entrepreneurship. Hold on, you don't even make them pay rent? Martin Grease on containment of humanoid anomalies. Following extensive testing over a period of several weeks, Dr. Kensing was contacted by person of interest 792 on his personal phone while on leave. An event deemed significant as the first contact initiated on behalf of Greaseburger Incorporated rather than the foundation. Kensing. Hello? Person of interest 792. Welcome to the 24 7 Greaseburger Hotline where yesterday's flesh is now suddenly fresh. How can I help you? Wait, fuck, I've already used that one. G give me a second. Martin? <laughs> the one and only. Well, that isn't really true, but what's a little extra universal duplication among friends? What? What? Anyway, just wanted to do a little checkup on the old hot dog machine. Profits are through the roofs thanks to it. The people seem to love it. I... We can't have used it more than a dozen times. Exactly. $23.25. Best quarter this dimension's had since Greaseburger's handmade bubonic plague went viral 700 years ago. You're... Welcome? Pleasure doing business with you. Keep this up and I'm sure we'll end up with something profitable. Both for your foundation and for you. Person of Interest 792 winks. Despite the medium of interview being a voice call, both Dr. Kensing and transcribers insist that Person of Interest 792 winks. I... Thank you? Alright, Greaseburger out. And remember, you can't spell Grease without EZ. The phone hangs up. What the fuck just happened? Following this interview, 25 cents were deposited from an unknown source into Dr. Kensing's primary bank account. The reason for this is unknown. Thank you for listening to SCP-6151. If you enjoyed this SCP, please like and subscribe, and also follow the link in the description to the SCP Wiki and vote to support it and the SCP Wiki as a whole. Also, if you have any SCPs you'd like for me to do, please leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do.